Welcome to Small Talk Daily for Friday, September 19, 2008. This morning I'd like to go through a little bit about namespaces because I haven't really covered them in any detail in this series. So to get started we have a new package here called testing. I'm going to create two namespaces. So I have to go down here to new namespace and I'm going to call one of them foo and we'll allow that to be descended from Smalltalk. We'll take the default and then we'll create a second one called bar and we'll change this back to Smalltalk. And we'll hit OK on that. So now I've got two namespaces, one called bar and one called foo. Now let's go ahead and create a couple of classes. So I'll create my first new class, have it off the namespace foo, descend from object, and we'll call this class1. So now we'll create another class. This one's in my foo namespace. I'm going to try to put another one inside the bar namespace. Let's go ahead and create a new class. And namespace is bar, descends from object, and we'll call this one class2. So not too terribly difficult yet. Let's go over here to initialize though, and we'll add some not terribly useful code, but it'll be explanatory of something. We'll try to return class1 new. So a new instance of class1 from this. Try to compile it. And you'll notice it says, I have no idea what that is. And the reason is, these two namespaces are not visible to each other. I can solve this problem one of two ways. I can either fully detail the namespace, so I can say, well, I want that to be foo.class1. Now it'll accept that. Or, what I could also have done is gone out here to my bar namespace, and I could have done this. I could import the entire foo namespace, or just that one class, in. And now if I come back here to class 2, and I go to the initialize method, I could just bring this in this way, and it'll now understand it because I've imported the one namespace into the other. Now, let's bring that back out this way, and I'll deselect back out, and we will come back to our bar namespace, pull this off, because I want to show you one other thing that's interesting about the way namespaces work. I've got my bar namespace, my foo namespace, neither one is visible, and what I'm going to do is create two more classes. So I'm going to create a new class called class3, also from object, in namespace bar, and now I will go to namespace foo and create another new class. We'll call this one class3 also, but it's in the namespace foo. Notice that there's no problem, so I can have different class3s. Again, nothing terribly hard to understand here. Two different namespaces in parallel, so I can have similarly named classes, and they don't conflict. So that's pretty much it for Small Talk Daily today. Hope that's a brief explanation of namespace. So hope you followed all that, and I hope you enjoyed it. Until next time, have fun with Small Talk.